Hey everyone! Um, so I'm going to do a sort of vloggy slash haul thing because I haven't done a vlog in a while. Um, sorry this isn't going to be a follow me around kind of vlog. Um, just a me yabbering on about nothing vlog. Um, and yes, today is my day off work and the camera's gone really weird. Um, there we go. And today is Eurovision. That's epic. Um, Eurovision is an amazing time of year because it's just ridiculous, absolutely just preposterous. But it's one of those things that I look forward to every year. Um, no Jedward this year, which I'm quite upset about. But um, yes, it's going to be enjoyable anyway. Come on, Bonnie, you can do it. Um, but we'll see if she can actually get more than nil pois. Um, but yes, today. Um, it was just a quick one to Parkgate. Um, started off this morning taking the dogs for a walk. The dogs got incredibly muddy. Well, Lila got incredibly muddy because she was just being ugh, hell on legs, let's say. <laughs> and she was just running around and just getting really muddy and everything. Um, Penny was fine. Penny's a dream when you walk her. She just sort of stands by your side and just looks up at you as if to say, are we going home yet? So yeah, anyway, um, then went to Parkgate because I wanted to get this, which is the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Purifying Gel Wash. Um, removes impurities and helps unblock pores, reveals clean and fresh skin with no soap. For normal to combination skin. Um, I wanted to get this a while ago, um, but never got around to getting it. But I went in Superdrug and they had it... Um, I think it was four ninety five, um, but it was on two for six pound, and I was just gonna leave it because um, I thought there's no point in just buying the one, but there's nothing else I really like. Um, but then I picked up another one of these, which is the micellar. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, solution that's basically just a makeup remover. Um, I already have one of these. Let me just pick mine up and. Yeah, been using this every day since I got it and you only need the tiniest amount of this and it just works so well and I absolutely adore it so I thought I'd pick another one up. Um, as you can see I've had this about a month and I've only gone down that much but I thought while I was there I was pretty much just paying a pound for this. Ooh, camera's gone a bit weird. Um, I was just pretty much paying a pound for this because the other thing was four ninety five. so... You know, I'm definitely going to use it because I adore it. The um, thing I love most about this is the fact that it is just like water, but it dissolves all your makeup. And, yeah, there's no scent to it, nothing that agitates your skin. Um, it doesn't particularly help your skin, but it's not supposed to. It's just supposed to be a makeup remover, but it works wonders. It's perfect. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this out. And from Superdrug as well, I also got this, um, which is the Maybelline Colour Show Polka Dots. Um, has this one got... This one's called Chalk Dust. And as you can see, it's sort of a polka dot goodness thing going on. Um, I'm hoping that this is going to be a little bit similar to the other one that I have, but I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit thicker. But I don't know. We will see. These are really cheap actually, so yeah. Then in TK Maxx, I got this. <laughs> so yeah, this is a Juicy Couture purse. Um, it's the Velour um, material. This should have been £90 and look at the price. <laughs> Ridiculous, right? And inside it's so beautiful. I can't show you right now because I'm holding the camera, but this is absolutely amazing. So. Yeah, they didn't have any more bags left, um, but they still had the purses, so if you want to go and check out your local TK Maxx, they are definitely worth ha having a look at. Um, so, yeah, ooh, my nails. There they are. Um, I did a sort of leopard print thing using the um, Barry M nail art pens, and I love them. They're really easy to do. Um, and yeah, I'm quite quite proud of them. 
they don't look as good as other people's but you know I'm not very good with nail art I have a very unsteady hand so this is good for me um what else um I sadly I say sadly but you know um I sent my liters back I sent them back today because I was sort of thinking I do absolutely adore them and I can walk in them but when push comes to shove I am always just going to put on a pair of flats um just for ease of walking and comfortableness comfortableness um even though the liters were really comfortable I know for a fact that after walking in them for a while I would probably just end up going over on my ankle and just falling over and making an idiot out of myself um so even though I absolutely loved them um yeah they went back so yeah and the catwalk thank you to the person who posted telling me what the name of those other Jeffrey Campbell shoes are um they are also going back so yeah I'm Jeffrey Campbellless apart from my other ones I can't remember what they're called they're spiky as well um but yes seeing as I'm returning them I might have another Jeffrey Campbell haul um, in a few days. We will see. See how that goes. Um, but yes, I think that's about it really. Um, my contact lenses, by the way, they're from Pinky Paradise. And um, yeah, a few people have been like, you have freaky eyes. But I think that they're sort of freaky without being like, a weird colour like I've got some pink ones and they're a bit freaky um, but these ones I think are a natural enough colour to not look completely weird but they are sort of my natural colour anyway but a little bit more en enhanced so yeah they are a bit, a bit big but they're from Pinky Paradise and I absolutely adore them so yes that is everything I think I've rambled on for seven minutes and I'm gonna go now and prepare for the wonderfulness that is Eurovision because <laughs> I'm sad like that um so yeah anyway that's it thanks for watching I'll see you all soon adios